Multipla AC 230 24 volt LCD timer. What is required? Flathead screwdriver, 9 volt alkaline battery. Installing the timer. The multipla timer should be fixed to a wall in a covered location, sheltered from weather and splashing water, ambient temperature no lower than 0 degrees Celsius and no higher than 50 degrees Celsius. Do not install the timer in the open or in underground valve box. Electrical connections. Remove the cover from its seat and connect, in sequence, the power leads coloured brown and blue, the common wire coming from the solenoid valves, red, and the wires from the first and second solenoid valve, black. The timer can also be connected to the Claber rain sensor, which suspends the watering program automatically in case of rain and resumes it when the weather turns fine again. Connect the 9 volt backup battery and insert it in the relative pocket. Use only a new 9 volt alkaline battery and replace it at the beginning of the season every year. When fitting the battery, the timer automatically runs a test cycle, closing all the valves, during which each of the LEDs will blink once in turn. Plug the voltage transformer into a 230 volt AC mains power socket. Watering system test. Press the test button once or repeatedly to select and activate one of the lines. After a few seconds, the corresponding valve will open for five minutes. To close the valve being tested before the end of the five minutes, press test and start plus simultaneously. setting and starting a watering program. Having decided which lines are to be activated, turn the line selector for each one until it is positioned on the required time. Watering can be programmed for a duration between 5 and 60 minutes. To set the watering frequency, turn the frequency selector to the required position every 8, 12 or 24 hours or 2, 3, 4 or 7 days. To start the program immediately, press the Start Plus key button once. Setting a delayed start. To delay the start of the program, press the Start Plus key button a second time before 5 seconds have elapsed to set a delay of 1 hour, a third time for 2 hours, and so on, up to 23 hours. The display temporarily indicates the number of hours delay selected. Then the watering standby signal appears, together with the time remaining until the start of the first cycle. Information displayed. When a watering cycle is in progress, the display shows the ongoing symbol, the number of the line currently active, and the number of minutes remaining until the end of the program. The active watering line is also indicated by an LED blinking below the relative selector. Once completed the watering cycle, the standby signal reappears in the display, with the time remaining until the start of the next watering cycle. 
changing a program. To change a watering program currently in use, enter the new line and frequency settings as required. The change will be rendered effective by the timer when appropriate. Stop function. To stop watering, press test and start plus simultaneously. The stop function interrupts the watering cycle currently in progress. Watering will resume as normal with effect from the cycle following the selected pause, as programmed by positioning the frequency selector. The stop function can also be used to close a valve manually, when activated in test mode. Reset The reset function closes the valve, if currently open, and switches the timer off. Watering will be suspended until the Start Plus button is pressed again, or until a test is run. To reset the timer, press the Start and Start Plus buttons simultaneously, and keep them pressed for 5 seconds. The message Off appears in the display. Clabber, the masters of water.